Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Border Tutorial. The CSS border properties allow you to specify the style, size and color of an element's border. Let's start with border style. The border style property specifies what kind of border to display. And none of the other border properties will have any effect unless the border style property is set. Let's go through the different values that can be set for border style. None specifies no border. Dotted specifies a dotted border. Dashed specifies a dashed border. Solid specifies a solid border. Double specifies a double border. And for double border, the width of the two borders and the space between them is the same as the border width. So let's set, set the border width for this element. Now we set the border width to 30 pixels. And you can see that the outer border has 10 pixels, the inner border has 10 pixels, and the space between the borders is 10 pixels. Uh, groove, this specifies a 3D grooved border. Let's set the width and color so we can demonstrate this. So the groove value specifies a 3D groove effect. And ridge specifies a 3D ridge effect. Inset specifies a 3D inset effect. And outset specifies a 3D outset effect. The hidden value is only used for table elements with a collapsed border. And the border width property is used to set the width of the border. The width can be set in pixels, like this, or by using one of the three predefined value, medium, like this, or thin, or thick. The border color property is used to set the color of the border. The color can be set by a hex value like this or an RGB value like this or a color name like this. You can also set the color to transparent. If the border color is not set, it will inherit the color from the color property of the element it's set to. So if we set the color for this element to red and remove the border color, you can see that both the text and the border around it gets a red color from the color property. With CSS it's possible to specify different borders for different sides. In this example we've set the border top style to dotted, the border right style to solid, the border bottom style to dotted, and the border left style to solid. This can also be set with a single property, like this. Border style dotted space solid. Now this has the same border as before, but is set with a single property. 
the border style property can have from one to four values. So we can set it to dotted solid little dashed. So you see the top border is dotted, the right border is solid, the bottom border is double, and the left border is dashed. You can also have three values like dotted solid double. Now the top border is dotted and the left and right borders are solid and the bottom border is double. And if we set two values like before, you can see that the top and bottom borders are dotted and the left and right borders are solid. If we set it to just one value, all four borders are dotted. Now we use the border style property in this example, but it also works with border width and border color. Like this and border color like this there are many properties you can use with border and to shorten the code it's possible to specify all the individual border properties into one property. This is called a shorthand property. The border property is shorthand for the following individual border properties. Border width, border style, and border color. See here we have set the border width, the border style, and the border color using the shorthand property called border. Let's try and change it up now. There are also shorthand properties for each side of the border. In this example, we have set the width, style, and color of the top border using the border top property also change this to any of the other sides like bottom or left or right on the W3 schools tutorial page there are more examples and we list all the CSS border properties and there's a link for each property that goes to our CSS reference where you can find more information for any CSS property. This concludes our tutorial for CSS border. Thank you for watching.